future of drug discovery? I mean, some of the things I mentioned before around faster cycles to um, investigate molecular structures and develop drugs in the first place, um, and some smarter approaches there towards the design of molecules. Um, I also think there's great opportunities further along the medicines development process. So if you think about clinical research, we have a lot more data now on human beings and how efficacious and safe the drug is. We're collecting a lot more data there, and there's even greater swathes of contextual data that surround that. A lot of that, I think, can be boiled down into personalised medicine strategies. So how AI can help us there is it can sift through this data and it can find the interesting patterns. And very often, if you ask your algorithm to concentrate on, uh, let's say what you're asking it to optimise for is how beneficial is this medicine, then you can find patterns that identify well, in which patients is this medicine going to be most beneficial. And that translates into a precision medicine strategy you can take forward to develop smarter drugs and get them to the patients that need them. Yeah, machine learning is uh, particularly good at pattern recognition. So uh, machine learning will be great for establishing correlations between uh, uh, disease characteristics and uh, potential treatments. Machine learning is good at stratifying patient populations. Uh, machine learning can be applied to those types of, uh, of uh, uh, technical discoveries. Um, machine learning is one of several tools, though, and uh, as I say, it should be judiciously applied and in the right case. I think machine learning, I mean, at the moment, is um, very uh, widely used in, in certain areas of uh, drug discovery. Um, for, for our customers they use machine learning to assess the, um, the uh, targetability of uh, some of the peptides that they're targeting on cancer cells. Um, I think it's more about identifying the applicability of machine learning methodologies. It's not a, it's not a shotgun approach, it's, you've got to use the right algorithm for the right problem supported by the right data. I think it'll play a role all along the, the chain from, from concept to product. Uh, most of the excitement at the moment is about target identification, but it's also got to, a lot to offer on uh, lead, lead design, uh, uh, molecule design and then product design. Mm -hmm.